me just get Good straight to, to this. The NRA argues uh, that the, the current law prevents lawsuits that are unfair, and specifically they say lawsuits that do this are intended to drive gun makers out of business by holding manufacturers and dealers liable for the criminal acts of third parties who are totally beyond their control. Suing the firearms industry for street crime is like suing General Motors for criminal acts involving Buicks. Why should gun makers be held accountable for the actions of people? Well, gun makers, like any other industry in America, should be held accountable only when they're negligent. And this wouldn't go beyond that. But they shouldn't have a special immunity. They shouldn't, uh, for example, if you're a gun seller and you're turning a blind eye to straw purchasers who come in, you know that they're buying guns on behalf of others to evade background checks. There's no reason to give them a blank check and give them immunity. It would be as if we said, well, a bartender who knowingly serves minors or negligently serves minors and those minors go out and get in accidents, mm -hmm. that we should turn a blind eye to that and they should be immune from any responsibility. Uh, Congressman, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, though, about one thing, because if it were that simple that you could never sue them, um, it, it, might be, it might be very black and white here, but it isn't. Uh, gun makers can still be held accountable. There was a case in New York, an appeals court recently upheld a 16-year-old's uh, case against a gun maker to go ahead. He said that the, uh, the, the gun was used to shoot him because it was sold. Um, the gun maker supplied handguns to irresponsible dealers, exactly what you're talking about. So he, he's now allowed to go ahead with a lawsuit against the company that made the gun. This fell within the exception of the protection of lawful Commerce in Arms Act. That's a mouthful, but the point is you can still sue them when you need to sue them. You're a former prosecutor. Why isn't that enough? Well, it isn't enough because the vast majority of these lawsuits are dismissed before the parties can even gather the evidence in the case. Uh, that act that was passed by Congress in 2005 has been very broadly interpreted, uh, and essentially the, the, uh, the opportunities to sue gun makers are non-existent. There may be a case that gets through, but it is very much the exception. Mm -hmm. And the, the broader question is, why give this industry, as opposed to every other industry in America, um, why give them any special immunity from negligence? Why make it that right. much harder and the burden that much uh, taller for this one industry? But then wouldn't you end up with a situation just, you know, where lawsuits can run out of control? Someone commits suicide with a gun, so they're, they're, the so surviving members of the family sue the gun maker. I mean, these are unpleasant situations to consider, but you could see how there would just be people who become lawsuit happy about this. It's very easy to blame a gun maker for everything and just cause all kinds of uh, tort, tort issues. Well, you know, that same argument we made with every under, other industry, too. That could be made with respect to the car industry. But the result of the fact that the car industry doesn't have immunity from negligence has meant that cars are manufactured more safely with airbags, with other precautions, uh, with good ignition systems, with mm -hmm. good braking systems. The same it would be true for the, for the gun industry. They will perform better. And one important thing to realize is that the vast majority of gun sellers, for example, 85% of them never sell a single weapon used in a crime. But but a very small number, just a handful of gun sellers, may sell, sell half the guns that are used in crime across America. Mm. Why is that? It would be as if you had a bar where the enormous proportion of youth drivers who drive drunk uh, are come out of that bar, and all the other bars in the right. neighborhood don't have a problem. But would you allow them to sue the car company when they get in and drive the car drunk? That's what a lot of people on Twitter were likening your move to. Well, only if the car company had some responsibility. If the car company, let's say a car dealer, is knowingly selling cars to an underage driver, yes, they should be held responsible. Hmm. But it's never enough, not for the gun industry or the car industry or any other. The mere fact that you sell a lawful product that is used in an unlawful way, that shouldn't be the source of liability. Nothing in my bill would make that the source of liability. It's okay. only when you act negligently. All right. Well,